What's up? This is uh, Jonathan Rancier. And I'm going to be speaking on the Virginia gun laws that have been passed. I think it is a great, amazing thing that Virginia is taking a stance against gun violence and actually passing laws, getting it done to better the future and ending gun violence. Passing background checks, banning assault weapons, red flag laws, things like that would be amazing. I think Virginia, they're on the great right step to bettering our future and ending gun violence. I wish more states would just continue to do what they're doing, like Kansas. I live in Kansas. And it's mostly conservative. The Midwest is mostly conservative, and I, I disagree with those views uh, wholeheartedly. I'm a liberal Democrat, I mean, to the fullest, you know, and I, I think gun laws, climate change, equality rights, those are my main views and issues that I tend towards. But yeah, hopefully we can get more Democratic leaders here in Kansas, governors, senators, to help pass those gun laws. They'll think it'll be the right thing. So hopefully in the near future, we can get more of those leaders that'll <laughs> make changes for the better. And also, uh, there's been a lot of protesters protesting against these laws. And they, a lot of conservative people think that liberals want to steal your guns or take away your guns. That's not true at all. I'm here to tell you that's crazy. We just want to make the world more safe, passing background checks, banning assault weapons, because assault rifles have no business in the hands of citizens in a community. They belong in a war zone with soldiers, so banning those would not be a bad idea. And liberals, they want to make things better and safer. We don't want to steal or take away your guns. You know, people that have guns for safety is okay, I think, you know? I mean, just mean more gun safety laws and more background checks and banning assault weapons would be the three main three main ideas which would be great if all 50 states would follow then there would be a lot safer I think and one step closer to ending gun violence and also another thing about uh, people that say climate change isn't real or climate change is a hoax it's that's false that's completely crazy it's untrue because it's scientifically proven every scientist is proven it that climate change is real very real and dangerous you know that's why everybody in the world needs to do their little part recycle eat less eat less meat you know use less and help fight the climate crisis because you know all the wildfires going on in California, Australia, they're killing people and they're destroying homes and lives. It's it's no joke. Just because it's not happening in your little town doesn't mean it's not happening across the world. And more floods. It's been flooding in Missouri. That's crazy. And the reason is climate change. It's been flooding in Kansas, which would never happen 10 years ago. It's just Climate change is contributing to these wildfires and floods, and it's and if we can do our little part, I think we can help. And if the big businesses, the big polluting businesses, Exxon Mobil, all the oil and gas, I think they're contributing in a bad way. So hopefully, we can. Um, Establish uh, ways to not use fossil fuels, to use clean, renewable energy. Solar. Solar thing is great, you know. Electric cars, things like that of the future will help us live in a better environment. So please, vote for world, world leaders that understand that climate change is real and a serious threat. It's time to act. And I think... So please, please vote for people that believe in climate change. And, yeah. Basically, you know. 
I mean, here in Kansas, you know, it's not a normal to be a liberal. If you're liberal, you're weird or strange or out. It's outside of the Midwest. You know, it's it's not normal. But I, I'm not trendy. I'm not trying to be cool. I'm not trying to go with the crowd. I never do. Never have. I just listen to what I believe is true, and what I believe is true are the things that I've been talking about. So yeah, hats off to you, Virginia. You're awesome for taking a stance and getting things done. Whoever the governor is in Virginia, you're awesome, man. You are awesome.